I didn't really want that game to go to penalties because I had enough pressure of knowing that everybody's watching. And in the end, you know, I wanted a little bit less pressure. So when it came to penalty shootout, that obviously the pressure, I was thinking, OK, now everybody will know that, uh, that uh, whether we win or whether we lose, getting the, the play of the match, uh, winning the penalty shootout with a little bit of uh, icing on the cake. I always wanted to play it as a, as a kid. As a family, we couldn't afford it, so my father took me to football. And obviously, you know, as soon as I started playing football, the, the ice hockey went slowly away. But uh, I always continued playing and, and skating. I used it in the past seven years as a, as a part of my fitness uh, regime. So he was still playing professional football, wasn't he, when he came down here? He was, yeah, he was. And the thing is, I think we kept everything quite low profile. And I think uh, Petter respected that, obviously, so he kept on coming back. But um, he's fitted right into, obviously, the dressing room, the guys that we've got here, um, you know. And I think he just comes here and this was his hobby. This was his lifelong dream to, to play this. And obviously, since retiring from football, he's been able to do that. What was it like when you turned up? Was anyone starstruck? Was anyone surprised that you were there? No, they were surprised, obviously. They were surprised. At the same time, they were afraid a little bit that nobody wanted to be the one who would, uh, who would hit me somewhere and then I couldn't play the next Premier League game. But uh, my club knew about that and, uh, you know, I, I, and I love the game as well. So it was sort of like a childhood dream realising after 35 years. And you're still involved with Chelsea. How do you manage to fit time on the ice with the commitments at work? Well, obviously, my work is the priority, and um, so everything goes around that. Frank Lampard's doing a fantastic job. As someone who has been at the club for a long time, became a, a legend as a player, and I hope that uh, he can put all this together as a, as a coach. Can I come in? Yes, you can come in. This is cool. Hi, guys. Hello. He's one of the best goalkeepers to ever play the game of football. What's he like on the ice, though? Really good, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a surprise. Like, he's an athlete, right? Like, he's, he's good at what he does, so he transfers it over quite well. When he's out there, you don't even know that he hasn't played professional hockey before, so it's quite impressive. Oh, good yeah. talk, good talk. Shot, jump it up. I knew the puck went quick, but that's just ridiculous. Jump it up. You know what? I'm used to having a hockey ball come at me, but a puck flies. I've noticed as well, is he, uh, is he the only one with a customised helmet? It's very individual. A lot of, obviously, netminders, goalies have their own design. Peter's got the Chelsea on the one side and then the Arsenal on the other side. And I think he's got Dominic Hasek, who was probably one of the best goalies ever to play the sport. That was Peter's uh, hero, I, I believe. So he's got Dominic Hasek on there as well. It's a lot different to football because football yes. static, isn't yes. it? One shot reaction. So this same. one is more complex because you sort of meet the player, then you have to go get ready to go down or even move side to side if you have to move. But the players they have quick hands, so they can actually take you all the way here and then kind of one hand drive it over here. Oh! Thank you so much. Thank you. You're a star. <laughs>